series of training videos consisting of 8 short videos, we will show you how to set up some basic configurations normally needed in hotel deployments and you'll have your FryPNet system up and running in no time. To give you a better idea of what we'll go through in this series, here's an overview. In this first video, we'll guide you through some basic settings or WAN configuration on your WHG controller to get you started. In the next three videos, we'll show you how to set up different networks for two different user roles, including staff and guest, and their corresponding authentication settings and access policies. In this case, we'll show you how to restrict staffs from using Facebook during work hours and to limit bandwidth for guests. Afterwards, we'll guide you on how to manage and configure your access points on the controller. Then we'll let you see how you can customize the captive portal page for different networks. And finally, in the last two videos, we'll demonstrate how to install and configure your WTG ticket printer. So let's begin with the WAN configuration on your controller. First, you'll need to connect your PC to the controller with an Ethernet cable. Then open your web browser and you'll be able to access the controller's UI by typing in the default IP address 192.168.1.254, which you can also check in the local area connection settings. This is also the IP address of our default network, or what we refer to as a service zone. So back to our controller UI's login page, you'll need to type in the username and password, both of which are admin by default. After you've logged in, you'll see the welcome page. Now click on System, and then the WAN tab to begin configuring your system. Under Interface Type, select Static, and enter the corresponding details including the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server. Be sure to avoid any IP conflict in your network. After you're done, scroll down to WAN traffic settings to enable bandwidth limitation on WAN. This is to prevent your system from getting overloaded. You can set it depending on the bandwidth provided by your ISP. In this case, we'll set both the uplink and downlink bandwidth to two gigabits per second. Sometimes the internet uplink may be down, and so the system can confirm this by checking with multiple external targets that you can specify here, such as a trusted IP address like 8.8.8.8 .8 or a website like 4ipnet.com or ESPN.com. Also, make sure the warning of internet disconnection box is checked, and you can also customize the message that will be shown in case of disconnection. Then click on the apply button you'll see a message that asks you to restart the system. So click on Restart to save the settings. You can also note the reason for Restart, so here you can type in WAN Configuration. Then click Apply again and wait for the system to restart. You'll then be redirected to the WMI login page, so just enter the username and password again to log in. Now to see if your WAN settings are already taking effect, you can click on Status, and then the Interfaces tab. Just now we've configured for WAN 1, so you can see its settings here and also its traffic summary. So that's basically it for setting up your system, and in the next video, we'll talk about how to set up your network for hotel guests.